Today, we're gonna to be doing what you love most of all, which is, of course, talking about the Twitter hack. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We are gonna talk about the Twitter hack, but then we're gonna to get to some unknown, top secret DeFi altcoin gems, as well as just general altcoin gems. I guess you could call it DeFi, but it's not really strictly a DeFi coin. That's right, we're covering two altcoin gems that I think have the potential to do incredible, incredible gains. These are super low cap coins, right? These are not coins with tremendous hype, not coins that have pumped through the roof already. So these are coins that, albeit very risky, have the potential to deliver some transformative gains. Of course, approach with caution, as I explain every single time. But without further ado, let's dive in here, talk about some news, talk about the market, which has cooled off a little bit today. As I've said many times, the best time to buy are the red days. You want to buy when we are bleeding red, when there are serious drops in the market, especially after certain coins have established that they are are here to stay. You want to get them when they're down, when they've cooled off, not when they're pumping through the roof, having parabolic curves. So for that reason, let's celebrate today's red day and let's talk about some altcoin gems that you could get your hands on that when we experience the next market pump might be going through the roof. First and foremost, we got to talk about the Twitter hack. Obviously, everyone and their grandma knows that Twitter was hacked yesterday in pretty much the most high profile social media hacking that I can remember. I mean, they hacked everyone from Barack Obama to Elon Musk to Kanye West. And of course, it all started here in crypto land and they were promoting a crypto based scheme. Now the consensus is that this hacker gained access to Twitter itself. They didn't hack any individual users and that this person with high level admin access technically has the ability to tweet anything and read all their information. Somebody said, sounds bad that a Twitter developer can just log into my account and tweet anything, read my private stuff and all. Again, it's kind of a big advertisement for decentralization if you think about it. A centralized entity like Twitter is vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, these guys are 10 years old as a company. Company plus, they should have all of the hacking protection possible. You know, as many pointed out, this hack was really stupidly engineered because they just tried to get people to send crypto to an address, and then they were using BitPay and Coinbase, which of course would allow them to be identified with more research, especially given that we know Coinbase is using data and customer data to supply analytics to the government. I think this is going to be a pretty easy hack to unwind, and they only got 14.75 Bitcoin after hacking the whole internet. As many aptly pointed out, if they had just gone to a Fortune 500 CEO, if they had just put out some seemingly believable tweet like ExxonMobil is going to drastically underperform next quarter or something crazy like that, they could have easily shorted a Fortune 500 stock and no one would have been the wiser as to who they were. They could have made millions upon millions, but instead they went for a low-level crypto hack, which only a few hundred people really fell for. So I can't imagine that this was considered a true success. And like I said, they could be unwound here the way they did it. So although it was a bit jarring to see Twitter just get hacked to pieces, uh, I think that in the end, I see these hackers as either they didn't really want money or they were just kind of plain dumb in the way that they went around it. Let me know what you guys think about this Twitter hack in the comment section below. certain effects of this are that whale alert can no longer tweet because of this anti-hack measure that they've had to put in. So now certain automated features like whale alert that alerts us when big amounts of coins that are very widely used in the market are being moved. Very important to know if you're potentially in a leveraged trading position. These are things that we won't have available anymore. So actions have consequences and this is one of them. Now we're going to talk about an altcoin that I think has to be on your radar because this particular altcoin to me is a simple 100x opportunity potentially more in a bull run and you might ask elio trades how could you even potentially guess that something could go up 100x and i'll tell you right now and it's just simple division when i spell this out for you you're gonna see it i believe the way i see it which is that this coin could be an absolute sleeping giant and that coin is spx or swipe is essentially a crypto payments coin and they've just partnered up with binance that's right binance has acquired swipe to partner to bridge crypto and commerce so Swipe, powered by the SPX token, has now just been acquired by Binance because Binance is going to be doing their credit cards through this Swipe application. Now, the reason why I think SPX could absolutely moon is that one of my favorite projects in the entire space is called Crypto.com. And Crypto.com is sitting here at $2.5 billion in market cap. They are the gold standard of crypto credit cards. Now, make no mistake, I'm not endorsing the Swipe credit card product. I firmly believe that if you want a crypto 
crypto credit card, you should go to crypto.com. And if you want to support the channel and you like what I do here on FUD TV, please click on that little sign up link in the description of this video. I really try to get people to use crypto.com because I think using crypto as money is an absolute step forward. It can really get you off of fiat entirely. You don't need to be holding those toxic US dollars that only go down in value. You can invest yourself in sound money and hard assets that can continue to appreciate and also use those for your everyday expenditures. They also do free Spotify and Netflix. If you guys don't have crypto.com, I suggest you sign up. But sitting here at $2.5 billion, crypto.com is the giant. It is the titan of the space. However, Swipe is only at about a $25 million market cap. So it would have to go up not 10 but 100x to reach the value of crypto.com. So you can see why I believe that there is a 100x room for growth. And sorry for that misalignment before, but especially given that they've just been acquired by Binance. And so I'm excited. I'm here. I'm going to follow them on Twitter. I'm going to see what they're up to because I believe that this particular token could absolutely moon. Here on CoinGecko, if we're going to look at the markets, that token is available, of course, on Binance. They have an active credit card business. Now, like I said, the best crypto credit card is crypto.com and you should absolutely sign up for crypto.com and use their credit card. However, as an altcoin that I could see making some serious gains, Swipe or this SXP, sorry, I've said SPX like a bunch of times in this video. I'm not gonna edit them out. Just know I'm talking about SXP. That's what I'm talking about. This token SXP, I could see it absolutely mooning. Again, this is a low cap altcoin. They have some good news. And I think this could do tremendous price action in the coming months. So if you're looking to get a little bit, just a little bit, the little old lady strategy, just get a little bit of this coin and stick it in the bag, set it and forget it, right? You don't want to overcommit to an altcoin that's this low cap. And of course, is going up against, you know, a tried and true titan of the space, which is crypto.com. I believe that there is an easy 10x here, potentially 100x and even 1000x if there's a bull run that takes all of these cards and all of these market caps through the roof. So again, low cap all with an absolutely monstrous piece of news and a use case that's already been proven out. You know, you have the narrative there. You have a different target point where you could see it accruing value to reach this target. And we also know that crypto credit cards are the future of the industry, at least the intermediate future before we go full digital. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for SXP? Uh, do you already have some? Do you think I'm late on this or do you think it's just not going to happen because crypto.com is too good? Again, guys, I'm a big fan of crypto.com. They're a partner of the channel. And if you want to support the channel, do me a favor and sign up for crypto.com with that link in the description. Uh, but again, this is an altcoin I think could absolutely move. But I know what you guys are really here for. You guys are here. You are the DeFi fiends. That's what I know is that you guys are fiending another DeFi altcoin. And SXP, it's a great coin. It looks to me like it could do some absolutely monstrous growth, but it's not a DeFi coin. So Elio Trades, where's the DeFi coin? And you're in luck because today we're going to be covering another DeFi coin. And this time, it's not such a hot DeFi coin that it's already done a 10x, that it's already done a 20x in the last few weeks. This thing, to me, has been underperforming. If you've been following my videos over the last few days and weeks, you'll know that I'm super bullish on the growth of the derivatives trading industry here in crypto land. And this particular token deals with precisely that. I'm talking about... BZX and Fulcrum. Fulcrum Trade is a decentralized lending and margin trading platform built on Ethereum. The system leverages Xerox protocol to offer deeper liquidated spreads through the use of shared lending pools. Now, if we cruise over to their site, it's a pretty glossy site here. They don't require KYC. Again, regardless of regulation, people just don't like KYC. So I think that could be a benefit here. They're non-custodial, right? Fully decentralized. And again, I've been saying this and I'll say it again. The derivatives trading industry is going to more than 1,000x in crypto land. And people who are in the derivatives trading industry are going to benefit. First, the centralized players, but eventually, orders of magnitude of growth will come to the decentralized players because they are more secure. I just believe that decentralization is the future of the industry. And if you also believe that decentralization is the future of the industry, do me a favor and smash the like button. Let's get a like spike going here. I'm trying to hit 1,000 likes on this video. The more likes we can get, the more people will see this video, and the more people will know about awesome projects like this and we can all together ride these amazing projects and grow with them. You can see that the amount of liquidity in this uh, particular ecosystem has actually just been dropping over time. And this could be due to the explosion of the compound token, the compound mining. I believe that's what's going on throughout June and July. People were trying to get their hands on comp. So they were taking money out of the BZX ecosystem. And their, their product Fulcrum isn't even on 
DeFi Pulse, if you go here, you can't even see Fulcrum Trade here, right? They don't even have it. It's so new. You know, they have a lot of really interesting features here that they talk about. However, uh, I would say that this is actually kind of an underperformer or a non-performer so far in DeFi land. And you might say, Elio Trades, why are you telling me about a non-performer? And that's because you don't want to necessarily buy something when it's all the way up, right? And you can see they've had some utility, some usage here. You can see their numbers are kind of dropping off. I don't know how accurate uh, this DAP radar uh, smart contract reader is, but you can see that they're actually not getting too much uh, traction here so far. And to me, again, uh, just seeing this non-performance on the chart when all these other DeFi projects are exploding, my question is, is there something wrong with the project? Uh, are they just going to underperform? Or is this potentially something that's going to find its legs in the next few months, figure its stuff out, and start driving liquidity and usage with what I, you know, looks like a pretty sleek product they have going here. I actually haven't done any leverage trading with it. Um, but that's kind of how I'm thinking about this, is this thing is an outside bet that might particularly, hey, this thing might catch up, right? They have, they have only a $25 million market cap. And to me, the derivatives trading industry in cryptocurrency is going to be worth trillions and trillions of dollars. So a $25 million market cap, if this thing ends up becoming any kind of success in DeFi, this thing could totally explode. But again, I'm telling you about a coin that's not performing right now. It's not fulfilling its mission. In fact, it didn't even really do that well during ICO. I think there's a potential that this tiny player of BZRX and the BZX ecosystem could absolutely balloon and explode with the growth of Ethereum DeFi, uh, just knowing that the need to trade derivatives products for high value traders, for sophisticated traders, they want options. They want calls. They do not buy and trade spot assets. They need more sophisticated tools. And if they're able to get that in a decentralized way, especially if these traders are potentially not in the United States, maybe not trying to do full KYC, then I could see a product like BZRX, Fulcrum Trade, and then their other new product, Torque. I could see those products becoming quite popular, and I could see the BZRX token also exploding in the future if they're able to become a player in this future industry. So I'd consider this a total long shot, right? You don't want to commit too much to this. But hey, if you throw 100 bucks in, it might become a down payment on a house if this thing goes 1,000x. That's why I'm bringing this one to you, because it's a total moonshot, not guaranteed at all. And I don't want you guys to over FOMO, because there's really not a ton of FOMO going on in this protocol. Look, this thing's barely even listed on DeFi Pulse, right? BZX is almost at the bottom here of DeFi Pulse. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a future. And you always want to get into a product when it's not hot, before it explodes. And so I'm telling you about this one because I think this thing could be a big mover in the future if I'm correct, and I believe I will be, about the growth of derivatives. And if I'm also correct about the growth of decentralized derivative trading. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I always need to know what FUD Nation is thinking. It might be FOMO Nation now. Let me know, guys. Should I change the name of the channel because I'm getting so much FOMO? Obviously, if you guys have not yet hit that like button, please smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I brought you two altcoins you didn't know about that could bring you tremendous value. Hit that like button. It really helps me grow this channel. Also, if you guys aren't already subscribed, I've been doing daily videos covering coins that you need to know about, covering gems in this industry. And so far, the market has been absolutely blessing us. So if this continues, if this little cool off is just us resetting our jets and just getting ready for the next leg up, then we have a lot to be excited for here in crypto land. Now, if the the market does end up tanking. If for some reason Bitcoin breaks down, given the explosion of Ethereum DeFi, I'm so bullish and excited about the future of that ecosystem that I'm just going to consider those down days good days to buy, reaccumulate, and wait for the next phase. We've seen now that Ethereum DeFi is here to stay. It's a serious player. If you believe like I believe that these narratives are going to continue to develop the way they've been developing, then you're going to want to watch these coins and you kind of even want to hope for a cool off in the market because if it does, that'll give you the chance to rewind the clock a little bit and get better entries, get more of those coins that you know are going to grow and blossom. Like even if Link crashes right now, I'm gonna buy more Link, right? Because that one looks like it's so solid. If one of these heaters that I've covered between Lend, between Ren, DMG, Synthetics, all these phenomenal DeFi projects, to me, the future looks pretty clear. And so yeah, if the market tanks, I'll be there buying it up. I'll be getting some discounts. And if the market continues to explode, then I think we can expect that smaller players like BZX and these other sort of underperform could tend to explode to new heights with it. As always, let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, you're going to want to hit that sub button and click that little bell notification. If you don't click the bell, you might not know when I put out content. You might miss the boat. I encourage you hit that bell notification. My name's Elio Trades. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next episode.